We started my freshman year, so I'm a grad student now, so it was five years ago. Um, it started as an honors hall dorm event. Um, as uh, every floor was a team and we kind of made up our rules and we didn't really know how to play we just sort of based it on what we thought would work for Muggle Quidditch and um, it became a, a sport like a club sport um, just past year. We are definitely a growing team. We started as I said as an honors hall floor activity in 2010. We became an official WVU student organization in 2012. I uh, joined the, the international governing body now as USQ the following year, last year in the fall. And we became an official recognized club sport here. The team's sort of grown through a lot of uh, word of mouth, friends talking to friends, social media, advertising on um, posters. So it's just been a little of everything. There are seven players per team, three chasers, two beaters, a keeper, and a seeker. The chasers play with a volleyball, which takes the place of a quaffle, and their goal is to score through each of the three hoops on the end of the field. It's 10 points per goal. Uh, the beaters play with a, a bludger, which is surrogated by a dodgeball. So they go around and try to essentially create pandemonium. If you get hit by a bludger, you have to take the broom between your out between your legs, drop the ball, and go back and touch your hoops before you're allowed to play. And they sort of like a really good defense. Your keeper is your primary defense of the hoops. They can block shots. They actually can go forward as another chaser if, if they want, your team desires. And they can score. A lot of times the keeper does score a lot. And your seeker obviously goes after the snitch, which is played by a person with a tennis ball tucked into their shorts. And the seekers try to get that sort of like a flag football. Essentially the, IQ, the USQ, the United States Quidditch, just came up with the rule this year to where there's an 18 minute seeker floor. So the seeker and the snitch just sort of hang out for 18 minutes before the game really gets going. The seekers don't have to be on the field, so they can actually take other positions, play as a chaser, a beater, a keeper, whatever they want. And then at 17 minutes in, they get called to the scorer's table and then released at 18. It's 10 points per goal through the hoops, and then a snitch is worth 30 points, and a snitch catch immediately ends the game. It's some um, general athletic gear. You have to have a broom between your legs at all times when you're in the game. And then every position has a uh, colored headband to designate so you know who's who. The chasers wear white, beaters wear a black headband, keepers wear a green headband, and seekers wear a gold headband. After a while, you really do get used to having the broom in between your legs and running around with it, but it does you know, take a while to adjust to that. It definitely isn't as hard as hitting as football, but definitely there are some aspects of football. Like, make sure, make sure, like For example, I played corner and wide receiver in high school, and there are def definitely some aspects of doing that, especially as a chaser, which is my position, where you, know, you try to get open, you try to cover the guy. You know, there's definitely some aspects of that. Uh, there's also tackling, which is also you know integrated in football. But then you know also you know there's a lot up and down the field. So there's some aspects of soccer. She said earlier that there's some rugby in there, which is for sure. So it's a like a great combination of a bunch of sports. Well, the rules change. Like it used to be, the snitch could go anywhere, but the president told me that I'm pretty much bounded by the yellow line and the fence and then turf to turf. But I can still cut through the game and just kind of create all sorts of chaos, I guess, and just. Try to stay free, I suppose. Yo, Peter, yo. Last year, one of my one of my friends, he's not here right now. Just we were all went to a Quidditch meeting, and they mentioned the snitch and like the fact that he could just kind of run around and go wherever he wanted to, and that's kind of the thing that I was interested in. This is what people have to get off of me. This is the, the snitch, tennis ball, and a sock. This is going to be on my person. This year, our big goal is to become a USQ official, which will allow us to participate in the USQ regional competitions and uh, potentially qualify for the uh, United States Championship, which will be held in South Carolina in April, I believe. Um, and then if we do well there, we we'll may get a chance to have some people go to the global games wherever that will be this year. They haven't announced it yet. I don't know if I'd say I was a huge Harry Potter fan, but I had read the books a lot, and I was always particularly interested in Quidditch. Uh, I played a lot of sports when I was growing up. Um, so that was my big interest, the sports. Um, and so, and when one of our RAs announced that they wanted to try playing Quidditch, I just said, oh, I want to give this a shot. And it turned out to be a lot more fun than I'd anticipated, so I stuck with it. I think it's a great opportunity to kind of marry the geek culture with the more popular culture. Um, people people walk by and take pictures of us and you know none of us 
I mean, with the exception of a few, none of us have really ever been athletic before. So it was really a chance to get outside and play something. And, you know, even geeks get tired of being indoors all day with their books and their board games. Uh, you know, I read all the Harry Potter books in like fourth grade, and I just personally loved them. And one of the aspects I personally loved about was Quidditch. You know, I played the Quidditch game when it came out on PS2, and I just always loved the game. And when I heard that, you know, Quidditch is actually a sport that, like, I could play, like, I... I knew that I was going to do it. Quidditch is fun, and they won't let me put any jet engines on the brooms. <laughs>